smoking when we made this. This episode brought to you by HelloFresh. Delicious pre-measured ingredients and simple chef-made recipes delivered to your doorstep every week. nostalgia critic guy remember it so you don't have to. The career of John Leguizamo has been an interesting one to say the least. Nowadays he's respected as a very versatile actor. Even when he's in a bad film chances are he's at least turning in a good performance. But for a while he was that guy nobody knew what to think of or do with. He seemed to be pushing himself as a funny man with roles like Tu Wong Fu, Spawn, and even the most 90s titled sketch show of all time, House of Buggin'. Why don't you just have a show called Big Phones Are Whack, Jack? You can't argue this guy was, and even still is, a workhorse, turning in tons of performances a year. But it still took people a while to accept him as a high caliber actor. And maybe movies like The Pest could be the reason why. telling of the most dangerous game, if you want to call it that. I don't. I've been getting requests for years to review this one, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued why. From the trailers, it just seems like a run-of-the-mill forgettable bomb, but something about it rubbed people a certain way that apparently deserves to be talked about. So, what is it that propelled this box office disappointment into the realms of cinematic infamy? Sally, there's only one way to tell. Let's take a look at the highly requested, and sure to be highly regretted, The Pest. Fucking bubbles! Ooh, from the studio that brought us such quality entertainment as Flipper, A Simple Wish, and Slappy and the Stinkers! I haven't seen that last one, I just love saying Slappy and the Stinkers! This has to be a movie that has a record scratch in it. 12 seconds in! I choose not to celebrate that! As the credits roll, we see Leguizamo playing a man named Pestario. You know, like when Steve Martin played Jay Irk. Doing his best impression of Carrot Top from Chairman of the Board. On behalf of Mickey Rooney, I am very offended right now. I'm stinky dinky, uh. Who showers with all this shit? And I don't know what camera you're singing to, but can it electrocute you already? Okay, that's a bit funny. I'm in the mood to scam, simply because I can. I'll give the movie this. It has the fastest turnaround time for emptying a filled theater. And that was at its premiere. Get stupid, get retarded, cause past to get the party started. I don't think that Asian stereotype was offensive enough. Let's make Sean Connery blush. I'm Miss Crazy and you make him a shake. Connery schmottery, even John Wayne would be like, oh, I don't know this guy. Did somebody summon me? He greets his family, who surprisingly find him a little annoying. I'm so proud. My son, the delivery boy. You know your mom's birthday is coming up, huh? What are you gonna steal for her this year? Ah, Dad and his morning expositions. Couldn't we have another song and dance number? I was totally kidding! This has to be a record for the most annoying squeezed in its opening four minutes. Wait, this feels wrong. I'm sure I have some blackface to balance out the shocking with the awful. That was nasty. I have to go to work. Love peas and chicken grease. Every day I pray a bus hits him. Here's a nicely framed shot. It looks like Jeffrey Jones is about to Pac-Man eat a smaller clone of himself. Who am I kidding? It's probably the happy ending somehow. The most challenging prey is often the most difficult to find. Aha! Paul Miller will be our next target. I'll show him for directing Visa Davage on ice. That was the thing? Wow. Legozamo goes searching for a plot when he comes across a group of boys who randomly invite him to play hoops for their lunches. Why? Probably so the film has a motion picture running time. He beats them and takes their lunches. Give me your lunches. 
Let's teach a lesson, punk! Score! These Dunkaroos will constipate me for a week! He meets up with two of his friends, played by Ari Spears and Freddy Rodriguez, who apparently pull off a ton of cons together. The key to this scam is to convince people that I am blind! Well, I certainly believe you have trouble seeing good scripts. He meets up with his girlfriend, played by Tammy Townsend, who's angry he missed dinner with her folks last night. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but there's nothing more I want to do than spend time with my girlfriend's parents. Trust me, if you want to keep your food down, you keep them away from most meals. I I'll skip my previous commitment, all right? Really? Can you come to dinner? Absolutely. Even his 90s dances goes, that's very Nick Jr. A German named Gustav Schenk, played by Jeffrey Jones, finds the specimen he wants, but his accomplice confuses him for pest, pulling off a scam. And again, I'll give credit, this did get a laugh out of me. Pest gets caught, though, and hides at his job at an in-joke restaurant. Well, given our track record, I see this ending spectacularly. Uh, me love you long time, me so horny to you with you. Yeah, I'm from far, 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 far south. It's some grits you all? Okay, okay, okay. A baptism from Mother Teresa couldn't clean how dirty I feel. I'm from south. It's a demon dialect, right? Everybody know that, demon dialect. This guy's wondering how Krusty the Clown's Chinese is somehow less insulting than this guy. Me a like how the fly light. All that's missing is a gong sound effect. Do I even need to show you this happening? <laughs> The critics were right. Sticks and stones really is the most insulting thing we've ever seen. He makes a call to a gang he apparently owes a lot of money to, the Scottish Mafia. It's like we're leapfrogging from one insulted ethnicity to another! Do you know what day it is today? Sean Connery's birthday? Sean Connery's birthday! It's pretty bad when they're thinking maybe we should call Michael Bay to make things more PC. How would you like to be driving down the road, see a film crew shooting this, and be like, that's gonna be a hit? He makes a delivery at Gustav's house as his accomplice realizes he's made a mistake choosing the wrong guy. But he sees the desperation in him, as anyone would of Legozano at this point in his career, and decides he's perfect. Gustav says he saw him pretending to be blind, and what a shock, he decides to keep it up. <laughs> Lives are the people's fault. Become dumpling boy next week. Look. That look on Jones's face seems to say, "Yeah, I was an Amadeus." Fifty thousand dollar cash scholarship to minority students. He offers Pest a fifty thousand dollar cash scholarship if he decides to go to school, but he has to do a few tests before he qualifies. Oh. You think the crew took turns hitting him, or did someone offer up their paycheck to do so? I'd be lying if I said I didn't rewind that scene. Stop, 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 stop. He fails every test, but Gustav admits he wants nothing more than to end him. They say they have a tradition of hunting on Gustav's private island before the money is given. That's almost as forced as this edit done by a person who clearly just wanted to head to lunch. Sorry. Yo, come on, hurry up! I can't wait to bag me a deer. Hmm, I don't know if that helps the pacing of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Oh, what am I directing again? The past. Oh god, who gives a shit? tell you about America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh. Yeah, I know, I, I already get HelloFresh. You can get easy, seasonal recipes and pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door. It comes to my door, like, every week. It's delicious. All you have to do is cook and enjoy. I know, like, all of that. I, I don't know why you're just, like, floating there. It's home-cooked meals made simple. HelloFresh makes cooking delicious meals at a home a reality, regardless of your comfort in the kitchen. All of this, I know. I'm doing a sponsorship in a minute. From step-by-step -step recipes to pre-measured ingredients, you'll have everything you need to get a wow-worthy dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. I, I, I'm gonna go that way. Say goodbye to endless grocery store tips and take-out food. HelloFresh has you covered. My god, are you still going? Make deliciousness part of your every week. Break out of your dinner rut with HelloFresh's 20 plus seasonal chef curated recipes. How'd you even get in here? There's something for everyone, from family recipes to calorie smart and vegetarian, and fun menu series like Hall of Fame and Kraft Burgers. What's like your origin? Do you have a birthday? HelloFresh has more five star recipes than any other meal. Kit, so you know you're getting something delicious. How do you brush your teeth if you don't have any hands. Hello Fresh is flexible. 
In fact, we want to call it Hello Flex, but we didn't because it's silly. You were not listening to a thing. It I'm fits saying. your lifestyle. Add extra meals to your weekly order, as well as yummy add-ons like garlic bread and cookie dough. Let me guess. You're gonna talk about Hello Fresh? Easily change your delivery days, food preferences, and skip a week whenever you need. I say something I like about it? Hello Fresh. One of the things I really enjoy is that you can add to the recipe. You can make it unique and your own. Even though following it tastes great, it's always really nice when you can add a little something different. My personal favorite is the cranberry apple pork chop. It tastes exactly as good as it looks. And now for $80 off your first month of HelloFresh, go say to HelloFresh.com slash Nostalgia80 and enter Nostalgia80. Are you done? Go to HelloFresh.com slash Nostalgia80 and enter Nostalgia80 for that incredible $80 off your first month. It's like receiving eight meals for free. Okay, I'm done. You get the idea. It's good stuff, just do what he says. Hello Fresh! I'm not saying it. You have to say Hello Fresh back. I'm not saying it. You have to. It's the law or something. Hello Fresh! Hello Fresh! For $80 off your first month of Hello Fresh, go to HelloFresh.com slash Nostalgia80 and enter Nostalgia80. Hello Fresh! Pest has flown to Gustav's Island and has introduced to his son, Himmel. There is no scholarship. You are only here because my father wants to hunt you. He wants to get the killed person who answered the fastest to Ice Age sequence trophy. There's surprisingly quite a few of those. He makes it to Gustav, who tells him what Himmel said and puts together that he's correct. Come on, you want a piece of me? Get a piece of me! Uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't make it to the newspaper. Well, if it's a good enough joke for garbage pale kids, I see no reason why it shouldn't work here. If you survive for 24 hours, you get your $50,000. Like most of Lake Wazama's roles at the time, he gambles a large payoff with certain death and agrees to be a part of it. Until he decides to back out again. Now I've got the upper hand, gentlemen. What's to keep me from shooting you right now? Now, should we leave in the shot of it raining, even though it's not raining in other shots? Pest. Right, right, I forgot. The hunt is on as Pest flees into the woods and comes across the local wildlife. It's not easy making George of the Jungle look like Ghost in the Darkness, but if there's anyone who could do it, it's the guy who brought Wizard of Oz on ice. Can I see a clip of that? Where for our dogs, Romeo? I hear a beat. <laughs> How sweet. That was a thing! Pest sets a trap for the Shanks. Yeah, right, I wouldn't believe he could set up a phone plan. But they get out of it and continue to hunt him down. <laughs> oh, I get it because poop! Himmel's bazooka on a string accidentally goes off, grazing the camera. Oh, I mean, the totally realistic explosive device is shot, just missing Pest. Himmel thinks Pest is dead, though, so he goes back home, where he sees him sneaking in. These are sex secretion pheromones. Fazi uses them to lure horny animals into traps. As a German Jonathan Taylor Thomas, this happens to me a lot. Pest takes some of them home to his girlfriend, gee, I wonder if this'll be a thing again. And he convinces Himmel to take him back to Miami on a boat, even though they get seasick. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love a DVD transfer that cares so little they leave the scratches in. It looks like Ninja Turtles are pissing into the frame. But I'd watch out for those seagulls as if I was you. Right. <laughs> you know, if they're not gonna try it with their jokes, I'm not gonna try it with mine. So here's another clip from Wizard of Oz on Ice. I'm melting, melting! Oh, what a world, what a world! Oh, look out! Eat your heart out, Mary J. Blige. Pest swims back to Miami, where he coincidentally comes across his best friends. What happened? What happened? Oh my God. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? I don't know. The film had a stroke, thought it was happy days, and then sadly continued. Can we pretend this was gonna be seen by an audience of some kind? What don't you understand? He gets distracted by a hot woman who is so repulsed by him she can't even pretend to find him attractive to the end of the shot. Are you sure we want to show her looking disinterested? Pest. I know, goddammit, I know! But Gustav locates him in his helicopter and they run away to hide at his girlfriend's parents' house. Yo, what's up, freak? 
Jesus Christ! Yo, Mrs. Ken, I'm not sweating you nothing, baby, but you on fire hamper, yo, hoochie baby, yeah. I was freaking joking about doing blackface earlier, but God, I should have known not to put it past this movie. Does it scare you that I arouse the unsettling passions of the dark continent? Bye, bye, baby. Sticks and stones, still the most offensive thing. What does a brother have to do to get some respect around here, B.I.? <gasps> you think you're having a hard time watching this? Think how Joe Morton feels. Here's actual footage of him realizing he can't get out of his contract. <gasps> What's up, Daddy Mac and Mac Daddy? You know, we live in fear of a black plan. You're on saying kill Whitey, Frangela Davis, say loud, we black and we proud. Anthony Michael Hall from Weird Science is more black than you. I'm burning up with passion, and you know what I'm saying, right? Oh, come on, don't act like you haven't been there, dog. I take it back. Jane Brady in a fro is more black than you! You know, this close to rioting. This close. If I wasn't so hungry, I'd leave. The color white, literally the opposite of black, is more black than you! Gustav locates him, though, and he runs away again. So he contacts the Scottish Mafia. Uh, the word up is that Pest Vargas has skipped the hood in the morning, homie. Why are you telling me this? What's he done to you? This is amazing, really amazing. Literally every person on screen is bashing an ethnicity right now. It's like asking David Duke to imitate the United Nations. It's so many degrees of wrong. This is the bomb. We'll take care of it. And why is my hand going blurry for a complex shot that for no reason needs to be complex? The Scottish Mafia puts out the word to keep an eye out for Pest as he tries to look for a place to hide. Hmm, who haven't we pissed off yet? Oh, this has promise. Shalom, and mazel tov, my little gefiltes and yentas. World War II and this. We apologize to all Jews for World War II and this. This is my Fakakta associate, Rabbi Chubby Bergbaum Steinstein. He's an Ethiopian Jew from Ethiopia, of course. Did someone just see the movie North and say, we can do worse? You want to know the weirdest thing? This whole segment doesn't even last a minute. They quickly leave and go to another hiding spot. Meaning this section was put in just to show John Leguizamo cannot do a Jewish impression. It's like asking an actor. Can you do a Jamaican accent? No. Put in a scene where he's a bobsledder from Cool Runnings. I said no. I said no. He tries hiding at a big party where I shit you not. I shit you not. Some of the people there are racially insensitive. Oh, do tell. This is a private party. Cheech. <laughs> Seriously, I bet you could get in the servant's entrance. <laughs> if only they saw my Martin Luther King Jr. impression, I know they wouldn't be so close-minded. But the two of them have a surefire comeback to get them where it hurts, doing Beavis and Butthead impressions. You guys are harsh. Yeah, you guys are harsh. You guys are harsh. Actually, you guys suck. <laughs> I know there are so few things you can make fun of white people for, but of the couple, just a couple that exists, Beavis and Butthead is the most hurtful. Yeah, you guys are harsh. You guys are harsh. <laughs> you can literally play an episode of Fuller House and it'd be more insulting to white people. They have a subwoofer off, if you will, as Pess is so loud it knocks them out. That or they fainted from the sheer power of those Beavis and Butthead impressions. We made Wizard of Oz on ice! How is that the worst you got on us? They steal their tickets and enter the party, but Gustav and the Scottish Mafia are there as well. So Pest disguises himself as, what is this Asian fetish you have? Don't show me nothing, show me your way out of here. Did you run out of continents to Moxie? You just started repeating them? You buy Honda stock. Okay, get away, you breast milk. Get out of here. Okay, he's so too sucky. This whole movie is all the edited scenes from 40s cartoons that were racially insulting. Except somehow those random clips would have more of a coherent plot. Gustav recognizes him. Why, through that brilliant disguise? So Pest sprays him with those sex hormones to have everybody drawn to him. They're caught by the Scottish Mafia, though, and are forced to... do an impression they like? Do it. Captain, I cannot do it. The Dilithian crystals are breaking up. She's gonna blow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad he's next to Aerie Spears, an actual good impressionist, while doing these horrible takes. He's just gotta sit there like, oh man, you're so much better at this than me. Hey, why don't you do your Shaquille O'Neal next? I hear you're really good at that. They demand their money, though, and Pez says he'll get it to them tomorrow and to take his friend as collateral. It's the close relationships that keep this movie afloat. Gustav kidnaps his family and his girlfriend's family, though, and says he'll kill them if he doesn't show up. 
You're going to be one lonely little Latino. Joke's on you, he already is, thanks to this movie. They sneak onto Gustav's ship and gee, I wonder if this isn't him. <laughs> now come closer. Any closer, huh? and I'd be intimate with you. Thank God nobody took any effort inviting my character. But it looks like the drink he gave Pest earlier is poisoned. So either way, it's a win-win for us. If I was poisoned, could I do this? Or this? Or this? Or this? FYI, I am not playing that backward. That is actually how the scene is edited in the movie. Or this? Or this? Pest! He passes out, and Shane goes to a safety deposit box where he get the 50000 If he poisoned him anyway, why did he have to do this? But he gets a surprise. Pest says he puked up the poison on the boat and called the authorities to have him arrested. <laughs> oh, and to make things worse, they're Vanilla Ice fans. I just assume the writers of Cool as Ice wrote this. And because you liked it so much, here's literally the opening again as the end credits. Oh, thank God for a minute, I thought they weren't gonna play it. But they predicted the audience demands that would no doubt be screaming from the theaters. Never play that again. Play it again? Sure. No, why am I still watching this? And that was The Pest. Wow, just freaking wow. I'll give it this, it is an amazing kind of bad. The bad comedy, the racial stereotypes, the lazy editing, it's all a fascinating disaster. Look, I don't mind bad taste, but it has to be done with some cleverness. But the only clever thing about this is that eventually they said we should stop at some point. <sighs> I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard to recommend just for how terrible it is. I mean, it is kind of breathtaking in its stupidity, which can make it intriguingly entertaining. But all I gotta say is Leguizamo must be a damn good actor to have the career he does. Because if this didn't end it, there must be something strong keeping him, as well as any of us, going afterwards. I'm the Nostalgia Critic and... Woof! <laughs> Hey, Doug Walker here. Uh, this is gone because we're doing the It review, so at the beginning. Uh, but uh, the charity shout out this week, if you've been watching the news, uh, sadly, Hurricane Dorian has really been causing a lot of destruction, a lot of damage, and so many lives have just been really impacted hard by this, and so many lives have been lost as well. Uh, so we're doing the same charity we did uh, last week, which was Heart to Heart. Uh, if you go to their site, right on the front page, you'll see a section where you can donate uh, and you can give to those trying to help these people that have gone through this terrible tragedy. Uh, like I said, I mean, you turn on the news, you just see it everywhere. It's just an awful, awful thing that's happened. And uh, yeah, the more love we can give to them, the better, man. So uh, once again, we're doing hearttoheart.org. Uh, it's a really fantastic charity and they're... There's a whole section just dedicated to Hurricane Dorian on there, so please definitely take a look, consider donating, they do really good work. Thank you so much.